at the state dinner hosted by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa at Buckingham Palace, the Princess of Wales stole the show. It's their first as the Prince and Princess of Wales, and the banquet represents a significant turning point in their royal careers. Royal fans were eagerly anticipating what Kate would wear, and they were not let down. The princess always has a stunning appearance, but this appearance was even more glamorous. At her most recent dinner party, the former Kate Middleton, now known as the Princess of Wales, wore an eye-catching accessory. The late Princess Diana liked to say, the Queen Mary's lovers, not Tiara. The piece has tons of diamonds and teardrop-shaped pearls. It's very attractive and appears to be somewhat heavy. The tiara was created in 1914 to Queen Mary's own specifications by royal jeweler Gerard using pearls and diamonds already owned by her family. It is also a replica of one owned by Princess Augusta, Queen Mary's grandmother. He is unsure who originally designed it, but Diana eventually received it and wore it on several occasions. Princess Catherine obviously didn't just throw a famous tiara over an old navy jumpsuit. She adorned her appearance with a cape, a white dress, a brooch featuring the late Queen Elizabeth II, and a regal blue sash. Her pearl bracelet, pearl clutch, and diamond and pearl earrings were the ideal finishing touches for the heirloom. I genuinely gasped when I saw Kate's outfit for this special occasion, wrote one royal fan. She appeared to be leaning towards wearing pearls as her signature jewelry, which is a nice nod to Queen Diana. I'm aware that the tiara is overused, but it looks great with this outfit. The design, which dates to 2021, could be worn as a wedding gown, Jenny Packham Bridal even features it on its Instagram page. The mother of three changed out of the eye-catching outfit she wore in the morning earlier that day while she was out. The Princess of Wales Feather Brooch, a royal heirloom given to the late Prince Diana when she married Prince Charles in 1981, went perfectly with the rich burgundy wool royal silhouette skimming coat that she wore. The loose curls that framed the pretty features of the brunette royals and weeble brunette tresses cascaded past their shoulders beneath a stylish pillbox hat with an oversized bow. Rosy blush, delicate eye makeup, and soft bronzer helped Princess Kate to accentuate her youthful glow. In keeping with the berry theme, Kate carried one of her prized handbags, her mulberry base water clutch in Cadbury suede. Also included was a John Vento 105. GMV Tarazzi's Royal Burgundy Suede Pumps Tiaras have been a common accessory for Kate Middleton in the past. At a Buckingham Palace reception, Prince Harry, Princess Kate, King Charles III, and Queen Camilla all glistened in the lotus flower tiara while hosting the diplomatic corps for the first time in three years. Kate looked stunning wearing the delicate floral headpiece, which she tucked into sleek, straight strands that teased at the layers slicked behind her ears that framed her crown. For the first time ever, Kate wore her hair completely down with a tiara in this understated style. The Princess of Wales wore the Queen Elizabeth's Cartier Halo tiara for the first time on her wedding day in 2011, sleeping it onto a half-updo with loose curls. A year and a half later, she wore the lotus flower tiara with a similar arrangement of traces to a diplomatic reception at Buckingham Palace. The royal changed to Shingnuns at that point, and for the next seven years, that was her go-to tiara hairstyle.